Hi, I'm Luke North here at WJ Titan, and you are in the lab. Today, we're gonna to be discussing the difference between using individual touch points and using a scanning head to collect your data. When deciding which type of measurement to choose from, there are pros and cons you wanna consider with each one. With an individual touch point, you're measuring that surface and you're just taking one single point along that surface and you're missing a lot of what's inside there, unless you're taking hundreds of points and that can be extremely time consuming. When you're using a surface scan, you're just taking one continuous measurement along that surface, uh, along the, the points that you designate. One of the downsides to that though, is you can pick up flyers either with, if there's dirt or some sort of imperfection in the surface you're measuring, you can pick that up and it can throw your data off. Uh, another thing to consider is if you have a rough surface you're trying to measure, scanning may not be the best route for you to go and you want to use individual touch points. As I said, individual touch points are a lot slower because you have to retract ever after every single point. So there is a big time saving. There's also a cost saving though, however, using regular points because a scanning head can get pretty pricey. So that's something else to consider when deciding what you want to do. As always, if you have any questions or just want to talk, I'm Luke North here at WJ Titan and you are in the lab. I wore my boots today. You like them?